How's it going everybody? This is Echo Papa, and today we're going to talk about firing off the sampler with an action point. Now, there's lots of reasons why you may want to do that. Maybe there there is uh, your DJ drop, you want to fire off at a certain you know, uh, spot in the song automatically. Um, maybe, maybe there's a certain drop that would go perfect with a certain section of the song. Well, today what we're going to do is we're actually going to fire off a sample loop to go over a section of our song. Uh, right here, you can see in this our, our song right here, there is no drums right through here. It's just kind of a just a really mellow kind of almost like a bongo-y thing right here. And then the actual drums start in this um, this big thicker portion right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let the song play just a little bit. We're gonna make it fire off this number three, this kick drum. With that kick drum is gonna go all the way through until right here when the actual drums start, and then they're gonna turn off. So we're gonna do this with two action points. Uh, so first of all, let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna set our two points. Uh, I like to set them right here, and then we'll fix them in the POI editor. So let's go ahead and play our track. Our first cue point. Then we're gonna jump ahead, and we're gonna set our second one right before uh, the drums hit in. Okay. So for this one right here, we're going to. I'm gonna pull it back just to here. Another set right there. Okay, now we're going to go to number two. And there, set it. Okay. Alright, those are the cue points that we're going to work with. We're going to go to our POI editor and we're going to change them. Now, you don't have to make these points uh, visible. You can make those points hidden or just markers. Um, for this one, we're going to leave them as cue points just to make it easier. So the first one, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start our loop here. That loop's going to run all the way until it gets right here, and then it's going to turn it off. So for this, we're going to change it from hot cue. We're going to go to action. Uh, there's two different commands you can use for this. You can either use sampler, and then uh, number three, play. And what this is, this sells the sampler, the third bank, which is this right here, a kick drum, and play. Uh, or you can uh, also use the command sampler underscore play number three and that's what we're going to do today so we're going to do that first and for this one we're going to do the same thing we're going to go to action and this time if you don't like type, typing out you can use this right here and you can just start typing it up here and it's the same editor that um, the uh, you use over here for the um, uh, for the custom buttons uh, so and you can select through these if you want uh, in this case, we're going to go ahead and select sampler stop, and we're going to say 3. And we're going to close this out. So, we're going to go ahead and play a song. We're going to play it from cue point 1. You're going to see that this kick drum is going to start as soon as we it hits to cue point number 2. And when it hits cue points number 3, it's going to stop. So, let's go ahead and hit it. And there it is. Our kick drum started up automatically. So let's jump forward a little bit. Okay, now it's going to get ready to hit this cue point number three, and it's going to stop. All right, so our drums have started, and the kick drum uh, sample has turned off. Now, let's say, uh, let's do something just a little bit fancier. Um, uh, let's say that you were over here, and you were playing with, uh, you know, some other stuff, you know, oh, yeah. stuff like that. And um, when it comes to that part, what it's going to do, it's going to select whatever part it is. Uh, for example, uh, let's go to a different bank. Um, we'll go to this one. This one's got like an explosion right here. So uh, if we do this one, uh, as soon as it hits this cue point number one, it's still going to hit number three, even though it's not the one that we wanted. Uh, so there is a way to fix that. We're going to go over here, and we're going to go to cue point number two. Now we're going to add a command in front of it, and what we're going to do is we're going to, you know, let's go ahead, let's go ahead and do this from the, the macro editor, and we're going to do sampler, we're going to do a sampler bank, okay, and then we're going to tell it the name of our sample, or of our sample bank. In this case, it's, it's drum loops, and then we're going to put an ampersand in there for the little and sign, symbol. And then, so now it's going to uh, specifically go to that bank and then play sample make number three. So let's go ahead and leave it on our audio effects right here. And we're going to play it. And now it's just switch our banks and play that drum beat number three. There we go. So uh, that can be pretty handy. 
uh, especially if you are, you know, uh, you have a tendency to get out of the bank that you're in, but you want to jump back to that bank to get to that, that piece, you can do that too. So now some of the things that you have to watch out for now that you have an action point set up there for is that any time the song goes to that point, it's going to activate that command. For example, uh, let me show you right here. Uh, I, I'm physically driving this right here. This line right here is where uh, our action point is. And if you see, if I just push this, you see it has activated that kick drum. So it does not care that uh, we did, we're not playing from that point. Or if I hit number two, by pressing number two, that kick drum automatically starts. Now that's pretty handy, but now that I stopped this song, I have to manually uh, turn off that sampler. Uh, and another thing to watch out for is like, let's say, let's go ahead and hit, hit two. Our sampler is playing and I manually turn it off. Now if I hit the cue point, guess what? The kick drum has turned back on. The reason it's turned back on is because we hit cue point. The cue point took us back to cue point two to stop, but the action point has fired that off again. So those aren't necessarily bad things, they're just things that you need to be aware of and keep out for, you know, just some, some extra little knowledge. So anyway, that's it for action points and the sampler. If you guys want to get a hold of me, you can find me on Twitter at DJ Echo Papa. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you really liked it, share it with your friends or better yet, subscribe. Until next time, I am Echo Papa, and I will talk to you later.